I agree mm -hmm. that there is a lack of balance. At the same time, to Tyrese's point, I feel like if you have the right person sitting in the chair. See, a lot of people mm. are not, uh, they don't come from music. You know what I mean? A lot of people that sit in these chairs, which I respect because they are to be respected for how they got to those positions and things that they've done to uh, monopolize a company and bring it to where it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. but they're not creative people. I sat in a meeting today and had to, you know, get a little riled up, which I never, ever do. But at the same time, I feel like if the right person is sitting in a chair and on a project, you can outsource a bunch of different producers and writers because you have to have a direction. A lot of these a rs are just name dropping. They go, they'll go and they'll say, I need this from such and such, and they don't know a good record. They don't know it. They, they, they really don't really? know it. And at the same time, a good song, as it translates now, might be drop it low. Like mm -hmm. a good song, as it translates now, might be red couch. Uh, it might not make sense to you, but it's about having sex on a couch. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things that have, I know it's crazy. It's, 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 it's a lot of things and these kids are not exposed and cannot pick up a Fender Rose. Why? And hit Education. any, they can't do yeah. it, but they do have logic. Now, there are some kids that have mastered logic mm -hmm. and I have to respect it. At the same time, I think the companies and, and, and where we are, the people sitting in these positions, they're not creative people. So when they come and they have an album full of Timbos and, 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 and Neptune and everybody else, they feel like it got to be one in there. Mm -hmm. It got it. And they don't know. Mm -hmm. And then a John Legend will come through and scrap through, cut through. Now, in my opinion, that record was being worked for a month and a half until the Grammy performance. What that yeah. says to yeah. me yeah. is yeah. the platform got brought up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not the, the label didn't step up. No, they, they had to chase the record. They didn't, be, oh, we believe that bull crap. You didn't know. You didn't know. After the Grammy performance, then you guys had to chase the record because it was number one on iTunes the next day. Mm -hmm. And then radio picked up at close to 800 more spins. Mm -hmm. you, 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 mm. you, these people don't know. It's not for them to know. It's all good. They know about this paper. At the end of the day, artists <laughs> are P&Ls with profit and loss. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if, they, if we gave Ooh, you $300,000 and we only made 100000 Sorry, yeah. there's no push behind. When, when, you know, people talk about Motown and all that type of stuff. What 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 Barry Gordy did is he took he took uh, uh, his artists, his, his 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 number one artist, and put him with his younger artist. Write this joint. Balance. Go in here with them. Go in here with that one. He got one here and for you. And it was a, it was a ping pong throughout the building. Mm -hmm. And they came out with hit records. Yep. These people sitting like you know some you know Jimmy Iovine. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. I love him to death. But what he was great at was taking brands and putting them with producers. That's why he took a Gaga mm -hmm. and said, here, Akon, you're hot right now. Stamp this. He took a Gwen Stefani and said, here, Pharrell, you're hot right now. Take this. Mm -hmm. He took a Pussycat Dolls and said, here, Polo, you're hot right now. Take this. And, and they just coattailed everything. Now, whether he was on the creative side or not, he still executed as he was supposed to as a businessman. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we have to know what's hot and what's not. Because I can't alienate the kids that's in their room making beats on Logic when they run in radio. At the end of the day, I have to make a great song. But sonically, I have to listen to the radio and see what's hot. Sure. So in the middle of that great song, I might have to put an 808 in there. Yeah. I'm not saying every joint. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. But sonically, it has to register. I really, I really like Liu a lot. <laughs> <laughs> right. I do. Well, you know, I have to go from the opposite side, from a different side. I'm all the way independent. I reached out to all the major labels, okay? I have a good record. I know I have a good record. I did everything on analog, old school, mm. old school style. Mm. I did it live. Now, first they said I didn't have enough. I go back to all the labels. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. You got on TV, you saw all these records, you have this and that. Now you have too much. Oh, wow. <laughs> they won't sign me because I have too much. Now, the imbalance in finding out, now you have too much, we can't help you, but we'll help you for the next album. Hmm. Now, the question is that lies for the independent artist is, whoever's sitting in that chair, mm -hmm. that's supposed to say, you have a great album, what, you know, they're the ones that defines what is being played on the radio. So I have serious radio playing my song, Soul Lifted, why isn't everything else being played? 
if Sirius can play my albums, right. why are we, why can't FM pick up anything else? Like, they are the motivation for the change that can happen in the world. Right. Mm -hmm. They're the but ones that set out what happens, but the what you, we listen gonna, to. They're not going to change it. But I've well, been you know, an independent well, artist and exactly. been mainstream, whatever that means. But because it's all going together <laughs> yeah, to me right, right, right now. Right, right. But it's it's once independent artists understand that it is a music business. It says business. Oh no, but at other and I know you understand that. I'm not saying I, that. Yeah. What I'm saying is, for me, when I figured that out. I came into what I wanted to do on my own. I stood my ground, like you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. You're going, I'm going to stand my ground, and I know this is good. And you're going to keep going. Just, just keep going with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I never gave, uh, I never gave the label the opportunity to direct me mm -hmm. in what I'm going to do. See the, I, and I, some I, one person said, "I will, I will push you. Mm -hmm. I will put I, the, some money behind I'm you." I'm an independent, just like you. Mm -hmm. I have no major label. Mm -hmm. I'm just solo, mm -hmm. and um, so I'm right there where you're at. The mm -hmm. difference is what's what's confusing to a lot of us as creative people, artists, writers. We we most of us pay attention to what's at the top of the pyramid. Mm -hmm. The question is, did you earn the top of the pyramid, <laughs> or was it paid for? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's be real. Now this is controversial. This is the stuff that nobody wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. I'm grown. I don't care. <laughs> so let's talk about the fact that you're at 20, 30 spins a week or a month or whatever. Cool. Is that a real record that's being played 30 times a week because the listeners of your radio station really love it and they're responding and the call out on it is crazy? Or is it paid for? So now I'm listening to the radio station and I'm like, well, damn, this song is on every 10, 15 minutes, <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> right? So, but then you're trying to drive it into my head, and I'm not having it because I wear a helmet. So <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to drive it into my head, I'm not having it, mm -hmm. and it's, it's confusing. So we listening to what is considered hot, but the fans of the radio stations that's tuning in don't understand that it's purchase spins versus spins that are connected to the response that come from the people, mm. right? Yeah. So, so, so at the end of the day, you know, again, these are uncomfortable conversations. But at the end of the day, it's a part of the game. It is what it is. Business. And that's why you got to continue creating, Keep moving, going. and Keep doing going. what you're doing yes. from your heart and understand that the reaction and the responses to your record that is way better than the one that's getting 30 spins a week yeah. It's not number one because you can't afford for it to be number one. Mm. Be clear.